Right, morning, I think we are in another video. This one we're uh, taping the joints enough to be um, you know, the insulation, so it's about the vapour barrier. It's all about the vapour barrier and I do tend to go on a little bit about the um, Really? Yeah, in this episode, I do tend to go on ad infinitum, really, about the, the tape, the foil tape for the vapour barrier. Maybe a little bit too much, a little bit of a tape fetish perhaps, but anyway, we're taping and we're um, plasterboard in the main room. Um, I haven't finished the uh, the storeroom yet but we'll soon have that done but that's pretty much it for this episode it doesn't sound too uh, too interesting and um, well maybe it's not to somebody who's been doing it all the while but anyway i start off in mid tape and we'll uh, we'll hit the ground running okay here we go then Turn the music off for a bit. Um, this stuff, I mean, sometimes, see that? Just run your fingerprint, the, the, the lines on your, on your fingerprint, just they're rough enough to just catch that corner and roll it back. You see? Don't get out of the can you see that? So well, that's just rolled back. I don't know if that focused or not, but once you've got it, you can just pull it back a little bit. Then, if you let it go, once you've got so far, it, see how that immediately. If you pulled out, you know, a foot or so, it did, it did roll back on itself, which you may have seen on the on the uh, speeded up version. Just it. It rolled back on itself, and then you've got a really picky because this stuff is like gold leaf. You know, it's thin. It's, it's very, very fragile, so you can only get so much off. It's quite sticky, so it'll stick to your finger. But when you're trying to put it up, you've got to try and peel your finger off without it curling back on itself. So it's a bit, uh, it's a bit of a funny, really. Um, I'll take it over there now, and we'll have a bit of a close-up of putting it up. Just briefly for got some up sticky stuff. It's uh, just you need to be quite vigilant. Can you see where that hasn't hasn't quite stuck? Once it starts to dry out, you'll find that's you know the, the adhesive is not going to be as good. So as you're applying it, just make sure you seal all the all the edges so it's it's almost invisible once you've done it. So on the on the insulation side. Because any gaps 
is where the moisture is going to. I mean, the point of it is to seal. Um, I know that that's just where the insulation edge is joining. I don't know if it looks like a, a, a curl from there, but that's not. That's, that's totally sealed across there now. You don't want any, any gaps, any moisture getting in. He's, um, because the, re the point of moisture barriers, I don't know if everybody's been through it, but when you've, especially on the timber construction like this, when it's full, um, when it's full, let's get me down here a bit. Whoa, too much of me. The point of it um, is when someone lives in, in, a, in some, somewhere like this, um, and you're in it, that's a high uh, percentage of the day where there's, it's occupied. You end up with um, your breath uh, and your general body uh, losing moisture, you know, sweat vaporising into there. It, it creates, it's got to go somewhere. Uh, and in the winter time, when you're warm and it's cold outside, and all the doors are shut, I mean, you, you, you've seen this, this is sealed, it's proper, proper insulated now. So. You've got cold outside, warm inside. At some point between the outside and the inside, there is a point of equilibrium where this temperature starts to morph into that temperature. And as you've, your outside and inside it gets together, then in the middle, usually in the middle of this um, insulation, in the middle of your wall, is the what they call the dew point where you, you're going to end up the the cold air, the warm, the, the moisture in the warm air. I'm not putting this very well, am I at all? The moisture in the warm part goes towards the outside, gets to a point where it's cold enough to to condense back into a liquid, and just runs down. It just, just lives in the wall, which is why, in the past, before everyone realised all this, buildings like this were just, you know, getting rotten within a couple of years instead of having 20, 30, 40 years life couple of years and they're pulling it back it's all black and, and just you know wet rot inside there and uh, it, it's all dependent on the occupancy and the length of occupancy um, you know if you've got two or three people I know this is a bar and it's occasionally gonna have a lot of people in but it's you wouldn't call that high occupancy if someone's living in sleeping in more to the point if you're sleeping in space and it's just this vapor coming off the human all the while it's that's what it is and, and apart from that you've got boiling kettles microwaves all this is creating steam which has got to condense back into water at some point i mean it's fine in a house is normally insular ventilated um, and in the summer it will be fine it's just in the winter when it's shut up like a just completely sealed unit i've waffled on long enough let's get back onto the tape okay so we'll just pull this back up in the air and I'll zoom in and we'll get some kind of, uh, hello, the dog's come in and uh, we'll get, we'll zoom in onto Focusing, but you need to pull a little bit off. This is crinkle because I've been had in my hand for uh, 10 minutes while I've been talking to you. You start it off, get yourself up to the corner because you need you, you need to wrap down a little bit ideally. Finish it all off and then pull yourself a bit off. that what I also tend to do um, just while I'm flicking at the corner what I also tend to do is just pull off uh, a little bit um, in the handle if sharp Try and do the whole thing or keep it on the roll as you as you go in. I mean it's doable, but it's, it's, it is more awkward. 
it doesn't really matter. I mean, the next the next piece comes along and overlaps by a couple of inches. It's it's fine. And it's easy to handle. Just pull yourself about half a half a run in this case, um, which is you know a meter and a half something like that, and it's it's easy to do. Back into character. Just pull yourself off a bit. Giggity. Line it up before you push it into place. Who knew sticky paper would be so interesting? It helps being tall, I suppose. This is. Uh, like a seven and a half foot ceiling, so it does help. It's not much fun on a monarch flight, but it's great for sticking tape up. Probably get sued by a monarch now. Well, the shit airlines are available. Off that for me, yeah. Boys, here we are again, made a bit of progress. As you can see, welcome to the spaceship. It's, uh, I would say it's all done, but it's taken days. The thing with this, with this stuff, the tape I'm talking about now, obviously. PIR insulation is, is the better insulation. I think as a rule of thumb, if you're talking um, inches of thickness compared to um, the cavity bats and the, you know, the wool uh, derivative, it's, um, as I say, a rule of thumb is about one and a half times. So if you've got 100 mil of this, it's equivalent to 150 mil of, uh, of wool sort of thing. So. So basically we've got 150 mil um, in the ceiling, uh, so, I'm, so I'm led to believe. I'll probably have a look in the comments, let me know if, I, if you disagree or, or agree. Um, yeah, like I was saying, this, uh, oh, back on this subject of this stuff, it is a moisture barrier. Um, I mean, if you googled moisture barrier tape, this would come up because it, it, it is legitimately for this. Um, and if you cover all, I mean, that's, a, that's timber, obviously. If I just put one in, you can get it that thick in one go, but it, it, it's completely, you know, we'll cover it in one. But the price of this stuff, which is about a fiver a roll, um, compared to the sort of uh, three and a half inch whatever it is 80 mil sort of thickness it um it's not twice the price you know twice as wide is not is more than twice the price so in my ex not say ex limited experience is uh it's not really it's not worth it i mean sometimes you need it because you've got to span something but it's more time consuming um and on the subject of vapor barrier in the sheet form um, compared to this. Now you can put a vapour barrier, um, traditional vapour barrier I suppose is a plastic membrane type sheet, just a polythene sheet. 
as long as you've got no tears in it, no rips, um, the corners tend to be a little bit more difficult with the uh, with that. You stay obviously you're stapling it to the thing, so you've got little staple holes as well. I mean the picky picky people who go, well there's holes in it as well anyway. Um, with this stuff, if you've got a tiny pinhole here and there, it's vapour, we're not talking like a deluge of water going through it. But anyway, um, you've got to do the best you can, and if it's stapled up, it's fine, it works fine. It's a little bit, because it does bunch up at the corners, so it's a little bit more difficult because you've got, you know, because you've got to kind of wrap around the corner to come back the other way to wrap up, wrap over the top and have like a double layer sort of at the corner just to and then you tape that as well so you've still got some taping to do um, there is a foil type uh, comes on a roll rather than um, well I know the sheet comes on a roll but you know what I mean it's a whole sheet this comes on a roll like um, like the, like the, the, the um, Jesus Christ make words like the roofing uh, membrane um, which or house wrap, which we've got round the outside of this building, comes in a meter or a meter and a half wide rolls. Where well, you can get uh, Dupont to it as well as obviously other other brands around, um, but it's like a silver silver fronted. I wouldn't say silver back there, silver fronted or gorilla, silver fronted um, stuff. Uh, it's got fabric in it, so it's hard to tear as well. That is expensive but it is very good stuff now the difference between we all like a win-win but i think in life you tend to end up especially in this game it's you're going to settle for a win-lose it's just to avoid the lose-loses um with this stuff it's very time consuming very laborious looks pretty um but it does take a long time it, i'm going to lie to you putting a membrane sheet up is a lot quicker um, and as I say, it's probably easier with the rolls of uh, the silver stuff, but that's very expensive, like I say, anyway. Um, but as uh, if you're weighing one off against the other, it's less awkward. This is very easy to put on. I mean, you can tear off as much of a length as you want. Um, the only awkward part is in the corners. It does tend to, sometimes it's, like creased and it's a little bit shit. Um, I mean, I've made. Let me turn you around so I can see the thing as well. I'm up there, it's got, I've done quite a decent job of that, but you do get some places. Got uh, me searching for some shit. You know what I mean? It's just, just, it does get a bit creased, but on the whole, it's nice. Um, obviously, I've got to run across there as well, even though this one doesn't need to be. Um, vapor barriered as it were but you've still got a seal you've still got a seal up, up above that so uh yeah so all the corners have to be done i mean it's just, like i say it's just been it's just been a bit careful the uh so the main difference is this is easy to do it's not a problem it's quite therapeutic if you just stick your stick your music on which i've been doing and just just get on with it but um it's not as quick, but it's easy to do. It's not as fiddly. The other one's much more fiddly. I mean, imagine doing the ceiling and you sort of, you've got to tuck it over your head and crawling underneath it and then you don't know if you're square. And then you, you know, by the time you've stapled it up, you, you look at the wall and you've drifted off three or four inches and it's awkward. You still got to tape your joints anyway. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all up to polythene's cheaper, entry level if you like. Then this, I mean, it's only a, this is only a five or a roll. However, I have used 11 rolls. Well, not yet, I will have done. There's, um, there's one sitting on top of that trestle, which I'm, I'm nearly through. Um, and I've bought, God knows where they are, but I've bought another, another three rolls. So uh, I'll get that wall done. What I'm gonna do now, just to break things up a bit, uh, we've got some uh, plasterboard delivered. Now this has been, on the front of my house now for several days and the, the way we've had um, you know the weather's been damp it's been wrapped but what I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably cut them in half uh, sounds a bit of a fanny but if I because I'm on my own what I normally do with the large one I mean it's better to have the 
the six foot boards but with these eight foot I normally put uh, some kind of platform or my or a plasterboard jack up there get it on top of it carefully pick it up jack jack the other end or adjust that jack and away you go but these are probably a little bit I mean they're not, they're not wet don't get me wrong they're not damp 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 you can feel damp in them but I know from the past if they've been sat outside at all they do get a little bit on the flimsy side and if I try to pick this up on my own I know it's going to fall over like a sandwich board and probably break my nose trap between the two so I'm going to cut them in half for it's for it's worth put half a, put this put half a board up put the other board can pinch it up with the uh, plasterboard jacks these need to suck eggs but those are plasterboard jacks uh, yeah if you're thinking of purchasing some of these as well by the way um, always go for the ones with a handle that does that because some of them you, you put them up and then you have to twist them which means you've got to have two hands I mean I can't even do it with holding the camera you've got to have two hands on the thing who's holding the board it makes it a two or three man job um, whereas you can get away with these on your own um, it's always better with two obviously but if you're struggling or your son sleeps like a newborn like a 22 hours a day like mine so you're gonna have to do it on your own so here we go I've waffled on enough what I'm gonna do now is stick some boards up um, when I've done the ceiling I'll move everything everything I mean <laughs> it's much easier to move all that, that crap over this side of the uh, the room do that door door <laughs> oh, I'm losing it yeah, no. do that wall um, and then so this will be boarded that'll be boarded move this all over there and we'll finish it up um, hopefully be lovely well, I'm waffling on with this, this tape stuff and I've probably over, overkilled it now but having done all of you know so far what I've done so far the ceiling and a couple of walls obviously I've got a little bit more adept in getting that backing paper off that now I'm going to show you what I've learned it's um I'm just going to share it with you because it may just be quirky to me as well so bear that in mind so I'm just going to do this this little bit here so obviously this ain't the bit I'm talking about but just measure it and you tear it off that bit I don't think it's the motion of tearing it certainly with the silver paper towards you tearing that makes it really difficult to pick off but the other end which is like the rest of the roll that I've just put down from the last time I tore it off that bit does tend to come off a lot easier so See, it started already. I ain't spending minutes picking at it. Uh, it doesn't work every time. But the, the bit you've just torn off, not going to work. The bit that was on the on the roll from before. So that's let's just prove that. So we'll get that, that on there. We'll just see if it works again, just to prove a point. I mean, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have um, that's the bit I've just torn off, just putting the stick down. Trying to pick this, I'm genuinely going to try and do it. I, I mean, I'm seriously not doing this on purpose. It's just, it's just folded. Oh, I, I have actually started that. But if I'd gone the other end, I don't know why. It's, it's just that sometimes it's just started straight away. If you were if you're struggling both ends, you keep turning it around and having another go. What I've just, what I've found is turn the shiny side away from you, tear it again, which simulates um, tearing it off the roll, and just just have another go. Look at that straight in, no no hassle at all. I've literally spent sometimes a couple of minutes picking at it, picking at it. This really gets frustrating. I mean, you can stand a few seconds, which well, that's what I've found. If it's universal, I'm a genius. If it's not, I'm just gobby and lucky. Probably the second.
Boom. Okay, I agree. I agree, I'm really, I'm kicking the arse out of it now. It's just tape. But the eagle-eyed ones of Runge are going to realise, yeah, even in the backs of uh, where I've relieved for the switches and all the plugs. Yeah, you need to tape inside there as well. Um, round where your cables are coming out, just do the best you can to make the, the hole smaller. Um, or, like I say, all the switch. Actually, I've, I've, I've took all this out for, um, for the backs, for the patrices um, to go in. I know they're going to be plasterboard style. Here we go. They are the plasterboard style. ones which are going to go in um, obviously when the board's on they clip onto the back of the board uh, but they need somewhere to go so normally you chisel your wall out or make a bit of a relief in this case it's just so it takes uh, uh, PIR of the, of the manufacturers and all that uh, yeah so it's just space but you've got to tape inside there otherwise all oh, this is pointless okay I really will shut up about tape and PIR now With this, with these jacks, what you can do, I mean I know I've got that up now and it's, it's pinched, you just knock it off a couple of millimetres, both of them, a little thumb push it. if I push that now it just collapse, so hold this, push that up just to clear it, here you go, now just drop it down a couple of mil, that will actually move about now, but without tipping up, same with this one, I'll just straighten this one up a bit as well, that's right. Can you see that fl floating around now? So I can get it lined up with the. Uh, it's nice and square with the joint, <coughs> with the ceiling. Choice. That's perfectly square with that now. It's.
Right, that's the ceiling all boarded. So, uh, it was a decent day, we had a bit of a sweary day on my own, it's been a bit frustrating, so, so there's not been much, much chance, it's more swearing than not. Um, yeah, I'll get some, uh, I'll get some wall, some of the wall boards on this wall and that wall next. I'll probably it's half four now, I've had enough, I probably won't do it today. I'm going to have to start this side um, with the boards because that's where the 1.2 width falls exactly on the studs. If I start off from the other end, I'll miss. Um, this is the end it was sort of constructed from. So yeah, I'll um, do that tomorrow. A um, bit of measuring, because obviously I've got to get the uh, the wall lights in um, and the, uh, all the, the switches, all the switches, <laughs> all two of them. I like to make it sound better than it is. Okay, so I'll uh, see you on the morrow. Right, morning again. I carry on a bit with this board. I've done a little bit. I've had a bit of a move around. Um, as you can see, obviously you remember the ceiling is done. All that that wall has been done. This is where you go dark because of the, uh, the lights. So all that walls, actually all that walls not done. I wait for a decent, you know, a reasonable offcut for that. It's not going to be cutting a, a piece out of a sheet. Um, so everything I've got is over behind that ladder. Uh, none of which are big enough to do that over the door. So we'll carry on with the big pieces now. When we get off cuts, we'll put them up there, down there, over the door, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's what we'll do next. Get this wall taped. So we've got another laborious day of taping. Um, no worries. It's all got to be done. Moving on. Okay, we've uh, finished taping up. I've got severe backache, I'm doing the lower bits, but ready for boarding now. So, starting, if I was to start at the window, so obviously we've done the corner down that side, we're going to start at the window from the, from the edge of the window, because the windows are where they are, they've created a bay that's not a full board. So, although the gap between the two windows is a couple of boards, give or take a few, you know, a few mil, if we go from that stud to that stud, that's, that's 1.2. So that, that'll be one board. And then we could just piece that upright in there. And the other half of what's remaining from that board can now go there. And you won't have to patch up little strips on the side um, so once we've done that I've marked the slope of the ceiling obviously I've stood on the board here and I've measured out where the cables are going to come out those are the two um, plugs behind the TV and then uh, there's another Bad boy down there, which is hopefully marked out, is for the heater, the heater cable down there. And for the um, few spur that's going to be down there. So, right, we'll um, we'll pass this one up, and then uh, I won't bore you with any more uh, plasterboard things. We've been all screw boards to walls. So yeah, let's carry on and do one more. Speed it up. Place now, um, and obviously this. Now, what I did earlier marked all the studs on the ceilings so, um, and on the floor. So, what I'll do now is just get a piece of timber and draw a line so I can map it straight the way through.
you're uh, when you're marking out the um, the wall lights and this, you know the the switch uh, wire positions, it's always best to double click, double check. You know, just only a fool would just you know measure once and uh, and, then, and then just cut. I mean, okay, as you've got that, uh, let me just take that one in. Well done. Right, so back again. Um, got. Why don't we start with back again? Um, anyway, with uh, that's the royal we. By we, I mean I. We've got all of that boarding on. Obviously, all the ceiling's done. This room is finished, apart from that wall, the bar, the bar itself wall. Um, what I've done. Um, <laughs> what I've done. I'll turn you around now. What I've done, and I don't want to dwell on this because I'm no electrician and I'm sure all the haters will come and uh, you should be wrong, but I suppose I've had a go and this is only the um, you can see me in it for the shed. I, the other end is not connected up and I'm not even going to attempt to do that. So I'll get my uh, my body spark rich in to do that. Um, and hopefully it's uh, it's all it's all testing out okay. What I need to do now, as you as you probably notice, I didn't go and buy a new board as well. I patched it up. I patched it up. Trouble. It took me ages. Every time I did a row, the bottom row disappeared. So, I like you. What I'm going to do now is board the ceiling. And so I can get over the top of there, board that wall for the same reason because I'm going to box this in and make it into a little cupboard. Um, that's my plan. Uh, I don't really want to look at it, I know it's nice from the front on it. Oh, yeah, like all good electricians, makes a good mess. So what I'm going to do now is do the ceiling uh, so that I can put the frame in for the for the, for the cubby hole box, whatever for that, uh, and then I'll board that back wall. Um, well, well, then I'll finish boarding. I mean, as soon as we've got as soon as we've got that done. I'm holding off doing this wall because obviously I've got a lot of natural light coming in. Um, well, that, I've got some natural light. I've ordered another another lamp, another Makita lamp, because these um, the ones I've got the torches. Although they're very good, I got I got a couple of those. It's directional, as in like a torch. So what I'm going to do? I've got one that's um, you know I think camping lamp if you like. It sort of sticks up like a like a beacon. Um, which you can hang from uh, hang from the ceiling or from a hook anyway. So that should be basically like I've got a an actual uh, ceiling light, you know, 240 volt. So I'll do that. That's on its way. Should be uh, in an hour or two, according to the Amazon. Uh, yep. So we're going to get that sorted. If this is um, spinning around again, if if this is. Uh, I'd stop recording then. If this is the end of this week's uh, footage, you're going to say, again, I've no idea how much is on here, so uh, I don't need to drag on to another three quarters of an hour. So, uh, thanks again, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for your uh, five loyal <laughs> followers, uh, love you all. Um, yeah, I'll get this sorted and hopefully I'll uh, see you all on the next one.